Welcome to Electronic Explained, where we talk about electronics for everyone. We've all done it at least once in our lives. Selling parts from an old PC, like power supply, if you are lucky, one of these little speakers, or pairing of the heat sinks of a motherboard. But one of the things that usually gets left behind is the DVD or CD drive, since we've all got enough of those in our own computers, right? But there are actually some motors in there that are, can be very uh, useful for some projects. Taking the DVD drive out can actually very easily be done by removing these two screws and also two on the other side, so you can easily slide it out through the front. So now that we have removed the DVD drive, we can start by opening her up. Now, the first thing that I like to do is take out this jumper and just save it. So one day you're gonna be glad you took it because if you run out. All right, so opening her up. Um, in this case, it's very obvious you have to remove these four, four screws first. So let me do that. After removing the housing enclosure, I removed the PCB that houses the DC motor. There's also a little push button and switch on there that you can desolder if you'd like. There isn't really anything that you can salvage from the main PC, so you can throw that away. After this, I went on to remove the black DVD tray which reveals the stepper motor. Lastly, I removed the screws that secures the metal enclosure of the stepper motor to completely remove the unit. Next step is desoldering the DC motor from the PCB by using solder wood, for example. There we go. You see a little red dot here, that's the positive side of the uh, DC motor, we can power it up using a 9 volt battery. I'm pretty sure you know how to use a DC motor and how to connect one. But the stepper motor is a little bit more uh, exotic. So I decided I wanted to create a little circuit to uh, demonstrate how the uh, stepper motor works by using an Arduino. Now I've soldered some uh, cables on the solder pads of the stepper motor and I've also cleaned out the um, what is it, the little laser, the DVD laser, from the uh, from the tray inside. Make it look a bit more clean. Here I have built a little circuit for the um, stepper motor. Hooked it up to an Arduino and a stepper driver. And what this does is it allows me to change the speed of the stepper driver by turning the uh, potentiometer it will read um, the potentiometer each time the stepper motor reaches it and it reaches its end Let's see this a little slower professor again let's go very slow So yeah, it will read the code each time the um, stepper motor hits this uh, part. 
So there you have it. Let me show you the uh, circuit real quick. So what I've done is I've hooked up the, the Arduino Nano to a little stepper driver. I'll put um, exactly what it is I'll put on screen. Same goes for the Arduino code. Uh, I've hooked it up to a six volt uh, power supply here. And then I have a little potentiometer that is hooked up over at the Arduino side. And I've hooked a uh, pin, I believe it's D2 and D3 that to um, the directional and step pin. And as for the stepper driver, you have um, little pins over here for A and the, for the A coil and the B coil. And I've also hooked that up over here. Now, if you're wondering what the exact pins are, I've written them on here. So A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus. So that's it. So yeah, that's how easily you can control a stepper motor using an Arduino. I hope you think twice before throwing away your DVD drive next time. And maybe, you know, tinker around with it a bit. Especially the Arduino is very handy for this. And if you've got multiple um, stepper drivers, you can even build your own CNC machine. Think about go as crazy as a plotter or 3D printer or even a milling machine. Like this video if it helped you out and if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any new uploads. Well that is all for me for today, I see you in the next one.